let V be the set of two cross two matrices with complex entries such that A11 plus A22 equals to zero because of matrices of the size two cross two. So sum of diagonal element equals to zero and W be the set of matrices in V means W is a subset of V with A12 plus A21 bar equals to zero. So this is non-diagonal elements with conjugate sum of non-diagonal element with conjugate equals to zero. It means uh, element conjugate of element with uh, equals to zero and we have to check that uh, V is a vector space over R and over C in option A and C you can see and W is a vector space over R and C. Uh, if W is a subspace then it is a vector space itself because of uh, in a matrix matrix addition and uh, multiplication usual matrix addition and uh, multiplication we can observe that if we are taking a scalar C with matrix A11, A12, A21, A22 plus another matrix suppose this is another matrix of the size 2 cross 2 then we have C times A11 plus C times A22 plus the condition E11 or E22 E11 plus E22 equals to 0 because of we can take C as a common A11 plus A22 sum of these two equals to 0 because of matrices are in V so sum of this is equals to 0 and uh, their sum is also 0 so this is a vector space because of first uh, we have to check that uh, V is a non-empty or not uh, V is non-empty because of uh, zero matrix of size 2 cross 2 is belonging in V. So V is a matrix space either C is, is a real or complex. Option A and C both are true. Now check the, check the option B and D which is about uh, W is a vector space over C or over R. Actually elements of W are coming from V so they will satisfy condition of V also so suppose a matrix of this size for example A11, A12, A21, A22 uh, this is a matrix in W and W is a sub uh, set of V so it uh, element of this means a diagonal element A11 or A2 equals to 0 and because of this matrix is in W, that's why A12 plus A21 bar equals to 0. Take another matrix, for example, E11, E12, E21, E22. Same condition, E11 plus E22 equals to 0 and E12 plus e21 bar equals to a 0 because of this is also belong in w now i have to check that is condition c times this matrix plus another matrix is belonging in w or not because of scalar multiplication from this and uh, using sum means sum of two elements is going in uh, set or not from this condition uh, if element is uh, because of uh, element is complex then z plus z bar equals to 0 and uh, from this we can write m plus m bar equals to 0 in simple in simple format uh, we can write this now if I am going to write iota, I am taking iota as a scalar, z plus z bar and uh, this element m plus m bar equals to, it will be
sorry we have to multiply element we have to multiply an element so multiply element of this means uh, iz plus iz bar equals to iz minus iz and this one can be written as i z minus z bar and uh, this is not equals to a zero so w is a not a vector space over c but w will become vector space over r